Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. What a Sunday I have going on today. Just because I'm relaxed and trying something different. Now, you all know I have a playlist. Well, I have, you know, of course I have a playlist. But one of the things on the playlist uh, is Halloween beverages slash pumpkin flavor beverages. Because they kind of go hand in hand. Now, some of the stuff on the Halloween list aren't pumpkin. They've just got cool titles that have to do with the season. It'd be great to use at a party or to serve around that time of year. But a lot of the stuff are views of the pumpkin. So I'm going to continue in that tradition. But I'm telling you about the playlist, which will be attached to this video, of course. So you can look at all the stuff and get an idea of something you might want to buy or try during this fall Halloween season. So today, my lovely friends green mountain pumpkin spice sure cups here's the actual cup with a hole and everything all right so it's got a nice picture right it's got a picture of a pumpkin pie it says cure pumpkin spice artificially flavored coffee limited edition I always put that on there uh, okay, I'm going to read something that has to, if only if it has to do with this here. Okay, warm and aromatic, right? Smell. Uh, with the supple spice and sweet creamy flavors of cinnamon and nutmeg, it is a light, light roast. Ingredients, Arabica coffee, natural and artificial flavors. All right. Um, companies out of Vermont, this is actually a subsidiary of Keurig itself. Actually owns this. They own a few things. They own, uh, well, they own a lot of things. Um, Dr. Pepper and who knows what. Anyway, let's see if this is any good. Enough of that. Now, let me tell you this. You know how when you stand around your Kirk machine, you know, and you press the button and it starts coming up? Well, from that two, three feet I was from there, whatever, uh, I could, it is aromatic. I immediately smelled the delicious smell of cinnamon. Now, first, this says artificial and natural flavors. So I thought, how the hell, why don't you just put cinnamon? Why would you put it? So I'm assuming there's real cinnamon. I don't know. But I'll tell you, it's got a hell of a cinnamon smell to it. And it's easy to put cinnamon in coffee. I had cinnamon all the time, okay? Here's cinnamon I had in my cabinet. Um, but this seems to be infused better than I can do it. You know, stirring it still kind of clumps up toward the top and everything. It gives you a little flavor, but this is infused throughout. So anyway... Again with the smell here, let me. It smells like a uh, cinnamon stick. All right. Which is nice, pleasant, right? We like cinnamon. I'd like a little more coffee with the cinnamon. This is almost cinnamon first. Let me try something here. Now they're going for, you know, it's their picture. Well, there's a cinnamon stick right there. I mean, uh, and that's kind of what it tastes like. Or smells like, I'm sorry. Now it doesn't, uh, I don't taste the pumpkin pie spices. I just taste the cinnamon. Not bad, but I'm just letting you know. I'm going to put a little cream in here. This should really make it pretty good because um, it's going to add that vanilla and that creaminess and that thickness more like a pie now, I think. Right? I think. Let's see. Now it tastes like a, uh, or it didn't, I didn't taste it yet, but it smells like, uh, more like a pie, more like a dollop of whipped cream is on top of it you know, on a pie, so, well, heavy cream is just a beautiful thing, it's made it better, it's, 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 it's just added that vanilla to it, we're not done today, this, these kind of drinks do go better with sugar, right, they do, or there's some kind of sweetener, I, I don't tend to ever use it, um, matter of fact, I never do use it, but on these type of drinks, you're trying to recreate this pie taste and everything, and pies have sugar in them, so I don't like sugar, but I do like 
honey. So I've got some raw honey here. And I'm going to pour a little bit in there and see how close I can get this to a pie. And by the way, you drinking coffee with me? I hope so. I do. Always start out your morning. All right? At least your Sunday morning. With a cup of coffee and watching. Watch, drinking with me. It's the only way I get to meet a lot of you. I've met a couple of you. And I'll meet some more. But the rest, that might be impractical to meet everybody, unfortunately. We can share our coffee together. Please. I don't smell honey, of course, but I just smell that cinnamon and that cream. That smell good. Let's give it a taste. Well, honey's going to make things better, you know. For a treat. Anyway. Now, that's probably what it was meant to be. Um, just a real treat for yourself. Now, before I leave you, all right, look. Look what I have. Real whipped cream. Alright folks, that little bit of coffee there is going to take me 10-15 minutes to sip. I'm going to enjoy it. So, that look good? Alright, I'll give you one sip before I go. It's going to be a good day. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy this holiday. Save some candy for yourself. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll be coming out on the channel with a lot of beers and coffees like every other day uh, for about five days or so. Um, or five reviews for my yearly Halloween fall extravaganza. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Cheers.